Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.6, number 21. And here we were asked to find the domain. Oh, no, that's not true. We were asked to find the x and y intercepts of a function. But before we do any of that, let's find our domain. Um, we should always find the domain of any rational function before we get going. So the three domain issues that we run into over and over again in math are when we have fractions, radicals, and logarithms. Now, I don't have a radical here, and I don't have a logarithm, but I do have a fraction. So we need to account for when is this denominator equal to zero. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to let my denominator equal zero. I'm going to get either that x is zero or x minus one is zero. And so that's going to give me two numbers to throw out of my domain, zero and one. So that's why you see me starting here with my domain. Right, I've thrown out zero and one, right? I have all real numbers, but I don't have zero and I don't have one. And now we can go about finding the x and y intercepts. So if I scooch this up a bit, anytime you want to find an x intercept, you want to let y equal zero. So you see me setting my function equal to zero. And whenever you have a fraction that's equal to zero, that means that the numerator needs to be zero. And really it needs to be the numerator only is zero. And so when I look at that and I set that equal to zero, oops, excuse me, let me undo this. My numerator is x, so I'm gonna get x is equal to zero, which is great, except zero was not in my domain. So since the only number I'm getting is a number that's not in my domain, there are no x-intercepts. All right, now for the y-intercept, you always let x equal zero. So I'm gonna find f of zero. And keep in mind, I'll just write this over here, f of x was x over x squared minus x. So when I plug zero in, I get zero over zero, which does not exist, which is fine. There's no y-intercept either. So that's why I have no intercepts on this function. Now, zero over zero winds up being a special case. All right, this will ultimately be a hole, oops, all right, it's gonna be a hole in the graph, but we'll talk about that, a hole in the graph. So we talk about that in a later example um, coming out of your lecture video, but it is, uh, what I'm trying to say is that because you're getting zero over zero, algebraically it's indicating there's a hole there. So there's, not an, there's no y-intercept because there's gonna be a hole. All right, thanks so much everyone, bye.